Hey guys, Tom Wolf here, your fitness coach. Today I want to talk about fitness gadgets. Today in particular we're working on back muscles and pull-ups and I'm going to show you a fitness gadget that will help you to do pull-ups. Pull-ups can be a pretty daunting thing for some people. If you're just starting with your fitness you might not be strong enough to do pull-ups and you might have a tendency to want to skip them. But one of the problems is you'll never really get strong enough to do them if you don't start somewhere in doing them. So I'm going to show you a way that you can get started and get some strength and then as you get stronger using this fitness gadget which is called a pull-up assist, eventually you'll get to the point where you can do pull-ups on your own. Alright, so the two challenges for pull-ups are not having enough strength to do pull-ups in general and then the other problem that people face is they might start out really overweight and the heavier you are the more weight you have to pull up the harder it is to do a pull-up so you gotta start somewhere so obviously a pull-up is a back exercise you're trying to develop back muscles when you do a pull-up right and you can use a resistance band to modify pull-ups and I can show you in a different video how to use a resistance band. The biggest problem I see with using a resistance band is that a lot of times people don't get into the right form to simulate the pull-up motion and then they're doing something slightly different and not developing the muscles you need to do an actual pull-up. So this gadget right here will help you to be able to develop exactly the right muscles to do a pull-up. Alright, so first thing, you've got to have a bar that's strong enough to hold your body weight and then some. you got to be safe. If your bar is shaky, you're in danger of hurting yourself or breaking something. So, that said, make sure your pull-up bar is strong enough. Now this pull-up assist is awesome in that it's totally adjustable. You can drop it down really low and then if it's really low when you do your pull-up, you're using mostly back muscles and only a little bit of pull-up assist. If you pull it so it's up high, you're using mostly assist with a little bit of, of your back muscles. So let's start and do one from up high where it's really easy to do a pull-up. Okay, now you want to get your legs straight, lock them together and then simulate the right motion as you go up and down in a pull-up. Okay? Now, as you get better at it, you can simply loosen it up until it's only giving you a little bit of pull-up assist and a lot of muscle. Now eventually, you'll be able to set the pull-up assist aside and do pull-ups on your own. And one of the things about doing pull-ups that's really important is that you do them with the right form and do them slow. If you do them quick, you tend to do what's called kippy pull-ups, where you're using your whole body weight to throw yourself up and down. And it's fine because you're doing a pull-up, but the problem is if you run, want to develop your back muscles, do them slow with the right form, and you'll actually be able to develop the back muscle, right? Now, one of the cool things about a pull-up assist is even if you can do pull-ups, you can do as many as you can, say it might be 5 or 10 or 15, and then add the pull-up assist and do an additional 5 or 10. It helps to develop those muscles and make it so that you can increase your reps and build more strength in your back. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm Tom Wolf helping you Live the good life through health and fitness.